Man, Ravens, I barely had time to change the lights and even charge the camera from the last video when y'all signed Gus Edwards. But anyway, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Ravens, after they didn't get busy yesterday with that Julio Jones trade, they were like, hey, you know what? Tomorrow, we about to set the world on fire. Well, first, we're going to have our Ravens E-League gaming. And then we're going to sign Gus Edwards to a contract extension. But then this move right here. This one is all the way from left field because this is a very interesting move, something very different uh, that I don't think anybody saw coming like at all because stuff like this, it doesn't normally happen. It doesn't, it doesn't normally happen. Because, all right, so let, let's just get into it. So the Ravens, the former Broncos offensive tackle, Jawan James. Now, if y'all know Jawan James, y'all know the story. I'm sure y'all heard about it. He's filing a grievance and all because he ruptured his Achilles working out. And the Broncos were like, mm, you're good. Bye. Nope. Don't need you. you. You injured your Achilles and you weren't here at the facility, even though he was working out so he could be good and in shape for his job. But the Broncos were like, nope, you weren't working out here. Give us that money. So they got the whole grievance thing going on. But he's expected to miss this year. But the Ravens, they, they signed him to a two-year deal. So he's not going to play this year. He is not going to play football this year. But the Ravens signed him to a two-year deal. So for this year and for next year, worth up to $9 million. And he still has to pass his physical, so that's going to be very interesting right there. Um, but it won't include his current injury, and no issues are expected. So um, that is definitely a, uh, a shocker there because you sign somebody who is not going to play this year. They're a free agent now, but they're not going to play this year. So I, I guess the Ravens just really wanted to – they must have really liked him. They must really like his game and really want to lock him in for the future because Alejandro Villanueva, he, shout out to my guy Gusto for the pronunciation, but my guy Alejandro Villanueva, he is not, and I, I, I told y'all this too when he first signed his deal because he got, his deal is essentially a one year, $8 million deal because all the guarantees are this year and the majority of the guarantees for Alejandro's deal are this year. So next year, I expect them to probably release him most likely. And it just all depends on a lot. But with them signing Jawan James, it, it gives them a guy who, again, they obviously really like him. They obviously do. Uh, but it lets them build for the future. But in my opinion, I think, and I, we got to see how this, that, how this deal is structured. I did read, where is it at, that uh, he has like a 500 Oh, there you go. The $500,000 uh, in guaranteed money this year. So he's not going to play, but he's still getting 500000 guaranteed this year? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm all for building for the future, but hey, it, it is what it is. Um, I think, in my opinion, and again, I'm no genius, but in my opinion, I think they could have actually waited for this one. They could have waited until... You could have just kept in contact with him and kept in contact with his camp and everything during the rehab process. You could have done that because nobody's going to sign him now. Nobody's going to pick him up now because he, he literally just got hurt like two months ago. Not even two months ago, like a month and a half ago. So I'm pretty sure I'm like 99 percent sure that he would still have been sitting out there on the market just waiting and rehabbing and getting getting better. But Ravens were like, again. I, I I understand I understand and don't understand it all at the same time because I always do say, hey, if it's a player and you feel like that player could make your team that much better, you got to get him. Get him. Get him. Do it. Go for it. Go all out for your team. Go all out for your squad, man. But this situation with that player being injured, I felt like it, you didn't really have to do that right now. Again, just my opinion. But hopefully it works out. Hopefully this ends up being a steal. Hopefully it does. Now, even though it does say um, that the deal is worth uh, the or the deal is worth up to eight million dollars, it does say that. Um, it only talks about the guaranteed money from this year. Now I don't know if all the guaranteed money is just for this year because now it, it, you could look like a genius for that one. 
Because if all the guaranteed money is just the 500, if, if the 500,000 is the guaranteed money and that's it, oh, oh, ooh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And just in, just in case, worst case scenario, the rehab doesn't go so, hopefully it goes good, but worst case scenario, if the rehab doesn't go so good, then you're like, okay, it didn't work out. We just lost 500,000. That's worst case scenario. But best case scenario, it does go good and, and you have an offensive lineman. Because you got Ronnie Stanley. He'll obviously be back. But at right tackle, you don't know what it's going to be there yet. You don't know. So this is Ravens like extra, extra preparing for the future. Wow. This is definitely a shocker. Definitely a shocker. Um, so again, let's let's wait to see uh, what the rest of the contract breakdown is. Because that will really tell a... Um, a huge part of this whole Jawan James story because it, it looks all type of confusing this year uh, or right now, right here, right now. But um, yeah, that's very, very interesting. And, and the Ravens, they, they, again, worst case scenario, like I said, with the rehab, since he's going to be rehabbing now with the Ravens, he's officially going to be a Baltimore Raven. He rehabs with them. So they know exactly how he looks. They know exactly wh how he's feeling and whatnot. They know all of that stuff. So they get a first-hand, just first-hand look at them. And this could also help them, again, as long as the rehab goes good, this could also help them out for the draft next year too. Because with Alejandro Villanueva, we know that, again, it's essentially a, like a one-year deal for him. It's technically a two-year deal, but with the guarantees and stuff, it's a one-year deal. So you would have to think, even though they do have Tyree Phillips, but you would have to think that they next year they would want to look to a right tackle in the draft or offensive lineman of some sort. But now, since you would have Jawan James and hopefully a healthy Jawan James, that can eliminate you having to use a draft pick on that right tackle. So that's that part of it. It, I, it, it is still a bit of a confusing move, and there's still a lot of questions with the move, but, hey, it... It is what it is. I'm I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I was just a little bit confused by it, but I can understand. Just it, a, a lot with this movie just depends on so much. That's the biggest thing. It depends on the guaranteed money. It de it depends on if he's healthy or not. It just it just depends on Alejandro Villanueva. It depends on so much. But if it's only the five hundred thousand that's guaranteed, again, okay, cool. You <laughs> all right? No problem with that, buddy. But We'll see how it works itself out. Anyway, team keep it clean. Until the Ravens make another move today. Until they sign somebody else today. I'll see y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Jawan James is for this season, but hopefully not next season, but just for this season, I'm out.